So, good morning. How do you do? Uh, today's plan is to go for a little ride down towards the seaside, down in Margate, because I just wanted to see where I'm going to be parking up for when I do the DGR ride, which is on the 19th. Uh, I'm also testing out my new mic. What a beautiful day. Meant to be around about 18 degrees today. Um, yeah, certainly feels comfortable. Just got a couple of t-shirts uh, on under the jacket. I'm hoping that the weather will be like this on the day of the ride. I've Why am I doing the DGR, I hear you all ask. Well, it's funny you should say that. I had a bit of a, a bad morning the other day. I woke up pretty poor. Like most people, and men, <laughs> We, we find it hard to talk about our emotions and feelings and bottle them up. I mean, my close friends know what my traumatic experiences have been. Uh, I don't really know how to talk about them, but block it out. And sometimes you don't realize how that experience has really affected you until later on. Uh, I can only speak from my own personal view and mine's affected me more and more as I've got older and you can go and talk to someone I find talking to my friends really helps uh, close friends of which I only have one <laughs> really close friend um, important thing is to be able to talk about it and, and try and get it out of your system that's what really got me thinking I need to do something, I need to help somebody, I need to help in some way, shape or form and that's why I'm doing that DGR ride, truthfully. Sometimes I wake up and I feel so shit, it's incredible. Um, I mean really shit, you just don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to talk to anyone, you just want to curl up and you know. I've got to admit, I feel crap today. These roads are diabolical at the moment. Lucky I'm on the scrambler. It eats bumps up. Mention I was doing the DGR. I'm doing the DGR ride for prostate cancer and mental health. I'm doing it because I suffer with mental health myself, like every other person in the world, okay? We all do. We just don't talk about it very well. I certainly don't. Conversation the other day uh, about with my mate. As you get older, it's hard to avoid having a traumatic experience sometime in your life you will have a traumatic experience in some way shape or form it's going to happen you you can't avoid it okay what matters is how you deal with it and you have to move forwards sometimes it's very very difficult and you need that extra bit of help talking to somebody or seeing your doctor but ultimately you have to talk you've got to if you're lucky enough to have a friend you can talk to fantastic 
I can say to you, it's absolutely unavoidable, and I have no idea where I am, even on the sat nav. <laughs> I'm going to go left here. As you can tell, I don't, I don't talk, I don't talk about this sort of thing very well. I don't want to. I don't like it. But I know I have to. Um, I don't like talking about it openly on YouTube. I don't want to. Um, as in what the experience was. Uh, and um, that's it, plain and simple. So that's why I'm doing the DGR. I'm hoping it will help me, and I'm hoping it will help others at the same time. Oh, struggling to talk today. Struggling to talk about how I'm feeling. Really finding it tough. I really am. I mean, it's <clears throat> this shit is what it is, and it bothers me every, uh, all the time. All not all the time. I wouldn't say every day. I have my good days. I have my bad days. But just recently, it's bothering me a lot. It's just that sometimes as you get older. It's not like the issue, your experience, that trauma that you had, it doesn't go away. You just put it to one side and tap into it occasionally. And, and sometimes when you tap into it, it feels like it's yesterday. It feels like it's, it's just fresh. You can't get rid of it. You just have to learn how to put one foot in front of the other and deal with it. I'm going to pull over in a sec and let these cars go by. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, really struggling today. Oh, that's great. Let's pull over right by the bloody bush. Try again. Okay. Nice to see the sea. I guess sometimes you just take the rough times with the smooth. Some days are rougher and some days are smoother. I'm having a rough one. I know I'm having a rough one, now I've got to try and wiggle my way out of it and feel better. Look at me, I'm on my bike, I've got my health. It's a beautiful day, I'm doing something I enjoy doing. I, I, I should be happy. I don't think this is going to make a particularly good video somehow. The Harbour Arm. 
and that is going to be where it starts and the meat is at and I think we finished just here on the left somewhere yeah somewhere here on the left It's amazing that, isn't it? I mean, it looks like a castle, but apparently it's apartments. Uh, it's a nice little bay there to take the dog. It's awesome. Nice and sandy. Nice to swim in, or was, until they put in sewage in there. I look like I'm crying. I'm not crying. Just my eyes are watering. I think I started to say earlier why I'm doing the DGR, but it's I, obviously I suffer with mental health, as do many other men and women. And um, recently I have been suffering a little bit. You know, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, apparently, which is easier said than done. Some days are much harder than others. And don't forget, it's good to talk, apparently. Oh, my goodness. I've got to stand up because my butt has gone to sleep. Utterly, completely and utterly. I've got no circulation in my buttocks. Thank you very much. Speak to you soon.